pleased that over 500 Virginians from business, local government, uh, community organizations came out today to be at our energy summit where we're really trying to get the kind of exchange of ideas between the entrepreneurs, the funding sources, the communities who want to build the green energy jobs of tomorrow. Got a chance to meet. Uh, I was very happy that Secretary Potterman uh, from the Department of Energy came and announced $37 million in new funds available for weatherization for Virginia. And it's this kind of opportunity on how we make sure that what's going on in Washington gets translated down onto the ground uh, to make sure Virginia, one, gets its fair share of the dollars, two, that people are familiar on how to access these dollars, and three, in this particular case, how we in Virginia can take the lead on getting 21st century energy policy right. We certainly support what the senator has to say in terms of uh, team building and uh, getting a lot of folks involved. It, it takes uh, partnerships on the federal, local, and state level. It takes uh, university partnerships. It takes uh, uh, partnerships with the business community as well. And I'm very interested to see what's new um, for Virginia in terms of energy um, and what we could be doing to support clean energy. Um, and I'm also interested in just getting to meet everyone um, and talk a little bit more about how our interests overlap. I think. You know, so often we forget that green jobs, you know, are jobs, and, and we need to be looking at the economic factors um, as well as the environmental factors, um, and just work to, to bridge those divides and see where we can help one another out to create this new economy. In the 80s, Virginia was able to be a leader in a lot of the telecom uh, activities. And you think about in the 90s, it was the internet, and it was AOL, and it was uh, other companies again in Virginia where Virginia was the leader. We've got the chance for Virginia to plant the flag and, and be, in effect, the Silicon Valley of uh, new energy development for the whole country. And I think over the next 25 years, more jobs, more wealth is going to be created around energy than any other sector. And if we do it right, we can take on not only the problem of climate change, but free ourselves from our dependence on foreign oil and create literally millions of new jobs right here in America.